This video will help you to solve equations. You will find the key steps on the screen and I will demonstrate them live. This functionality is only available on the FX991CW. The equation solver can solve equations in different forms. For simultaneous linear equations and polynomial equations, please see our videos on those topics. This video will cover equations in other forms. For this video, I will use the equations here on the right hand side of the screen. Let's start with a simple linear equation, for example, equation 1. From the home menu, choose the equation app and then solver. First, you need to enter the equation. Enter the left hand side 3x minus 1 using the dedicated x key. For equals, press shift open brackets and now enter the right hand side of the equation 4. Press the execute or OK key to enter the equation. The calculator needs an initial value to search for a solution to this equation. You can use the suggested value of 0 in most cases. Scroll down to execute and then press the OK or execute key. The calculator displays the result as a decimal. The L minus R equals 0 on the bottom of the screen means that the solution gives the same exact value for each side of the equation. If you want the value as a fraction, store the solution in memory by pressing variable and then choosing a memory store such as A. Confirm with store. You can display the fraction from memory in the calculator. You can also enter more complex equations such as equation 2. The variable does not have to be x. Return to the input screen by pressing the all clear key twice. Enter the fraction with the fraction key and enter the numerator 2d which is shift 1 minus 1 and then the denominator 4. Scroll right out of the fraction, enter equals as before with shift open bracket and then the right hand side of the equation 2 minus d. Press the execute or OK key and enter the initial value. 0 would be OK here as well, so scroll down and choose execute. The solution is d is equal to 1.5. The calculator displays the answer for D because that was the variable. You can use any letter available on the calculator, A to F and X, Y or Z. If the equation has a quadratic expression on either side of the equals, such as equation 3, you would normally rearrange it and solve the resulting quadratic equation equal to zero. However, you can also solve the equation as given directly. Return to the input screen as before using the all clear key. Enter the quadratic expression on the left hand side and the equals sign. And now enter the expression on the right hand side. Press OK or the execute key to enter it in the calculator. Let us try using the initial value of zero. The calculator displays the solution x is equal to 1. However, quadratic equations can have 0, 1 or 2 real solutions. The calculator starts from the initial value of 0 and finds the closest solution. In this case, the closest solution is x is equal to 1. You can check for other solutions by using a different initial value. Press back and enter your new initial value for example, negative 10. Choose execute and the calculator displays the second solution x is equal to negative 4.5. If the calculator had found the same solution x is equal to 1, try a new initial value further from 1 in the positive direction, for example, positive 10. You can use the calculator to solve equations involving other functions, for example, exponentials, such as in equation 4. Return to the input screen as usual. Now enter your equation and solve with an initial value of, say, 0. The calculator finds the solution 
x is equal to 0 0.693 to three significant figures. Note that this equation can be solved exactly using logarithms, and so this calculation is a helpful check on your working. Some equations, such as equation 5, can only be solved numerically. Return to the input screen. Enter the equation and an initial value. I'm going to use zero and then execute. Take care with equations that can have multiple solutions and check with further initial values. A sketch is often useful. I have created the graph in classpad.net on the right of the screen to show this. You should be able to sketch this graph in an exam for yourself. In this case, there is a further solution. So try a further initial value, for example, 10, and the calculator will display the solution x is equal to 4.11 to three significant figures. I hope that you can now solve a variety of equations using the Casio FX991CW.